You know, I made this track and man, this shit was easy. Like, you know, I appreciate the people that was rocking with it. Shit, I, it got back a lot more uh, support than I thought, but I didn't even put it out for support, even though I do appreciate it. I don't want people to think that I don't because people really did fuck with it and show it some love. So, you know, especially with no visuals, no nothing, you know, just kind of dropping it. So I do appreciate everybody. Um, I dropped this song and shit, I thought about it. I knew who I probably wanted to put on it. Shit, I hit up Spiffy, he was able to make it happen. We was able to make it happen. Um, I ain't rapped in a while. I mean, I'm I'm hearing niggas talking about like, oh man, well Sharp don't rap. Like, no, I don't rap, but it don't mean that I didn't rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like what the fuck? Like, I, I love when niggas count me out. Like, he's good at all his other shit. He can't be good at that. Like, that's impossible or he would have been did it. Nah, nigga. Music was therapeutic at a time for a nigga like myself. I know we cut this shit in under 24 hours. Me and, me and Luciano, Luciano wasn't even here. Luciano out in Atlanta with Boosie and them. And we we put it together, man. So, I don't know, let's see. Let's see how it's sounding together, shall we? Hey. Yeah, yeah. So we gonna do this shit, man. You hear me? Hey. Can only show you get no paper, new faker. I'll show you suckers how to get your game tight. Got your favorite bitch, diamond shining and a red light. Boy, get your head right before that bitch go pew and gone. Adam, this I have your daughter screaming, this a favorite song. Been a nigga all alone. Boy, this ain't no fucking race. Everything I ever touched only came in first place. Talking in the first place will get your ass chopped up. Mad about the plug talk, bitches, they be popped up. Laughing at your little disses, fucking bait to do the dishes. Having Drake hit you in your ass, I'll be your biggest wishes. Never really had a problem with that boy Lush, but he sucks so much dick, his mouth do need a douche. I'm styling every time I'm on Melrose. Got the store looking like a place you play with your nose. Macho man status. If a hoe say here's a trap, you know I gotta have it. I'm cracking. Don't ever throw no dirt on my name when I'm known for dropping game. Why you sit like that? I feel like Snoop, Snoop, it's that gin and juice I bought the 22, for Adam 22 I'm pressured up, they on my dick in all them interviews My weapon's up, unless you with them, you can get it too Hey nigga, bust a move, cause I'ma act a fool And any nigga listening to you, cause a puppet too Y'all need to be on back page, nigga straight bitch Went from riding side wave, now you on Drake dick And he not coming to no jumper, we not finna fucking cap Now I seen what I did to Zoe, he don't wanna run it back Them hollow tips and two two threes, rip his fucking brain apart Give a fuck if you my nigga, you ain't finna play with sharks hey, I'm a demon with this shit, tell Lena let me hit Get a taste of Luciano, she'll be fiending for this dick Hey, I'm a demon with this shit, tell Lena let me hit Get a taste of Luciano, she'll be fiending for this dick I feel like Snoop, Snoop, it's that Now, you know, I ain't gonna lie Especially when I hear I'm like, yeah, we dropped it quick as hell And shout out to Spiffy for even being able to just put his piece to the situation, man, and you know, being able to make this track, cause it sound like a song, shit. It, people act like it's harder than a diss. Shit, it's a song. I like to make music. If I'm gonna make music, I'm gonna make music. I'm not just making it just to talk. So I just wanna make sure that I'm putting out something that, you know, the people gonna at least be able to respect somewhat. You know, mix could have been a little bit better, for sure. But we dropped it, you know what I'm saying? And I felt like it, uh, it did its due diligence. His would have never came out if he would have never like sat there and tried to like send my fucking this cup of, with my name on it through a molestation tour of just letting everybody just fucking finger fuck it. Like, what do you like? That shit was crazy. You know, I mean, I thought we were having fun with it, man. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like the other day or whatever, like I'm seeing these clips like. Now he, he wants to get personal. Like, now he's, he's upset. I'm like, well, shit, all I did was, you know, capitalize off of what you did with my shit. 
you had this coming and this was a light blow. I didn't even say much, bro. I kept the shit real light. This was just letting you know, like, let me see what you got. Here, come on. So, I mean, I don't see where it was a problem. I mean, the people could have fucking hated it. You would have bashed the shit then. You know what I'm saying? The people was just wasn't receptive to it. They would just hate hated the track. I mean, the fuck is going on, bro? We'll listen to the, uh, I think there was a reaction video where he was calling the track trash. But, I mean, the track got a lot of good feedback from the things I was seeing, so, you know, and I appreciate everybody who chimed in on it, man, and just fucked with it. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a quick piece. It was whipped together real quick, but it still is good. Yeah, I saw that shit with Lush. I saw that shit. This thing got bars for me. Well, you know what, bro? You know what I noticed? There's niggas that like basketball, right? They grew up around basketball. They love the game. They understand everything about it. They can coach motherfuckers in it, all the shit, right? They can do everything. I'm talking about, man, is a, or is a fucking staple to understanding the game, right? But can't fucking put a layup up to save their life. That's real shit. Can't put a lamp up to save their life, homie. People don't care about you rapping. Like, I think that's what a lot of rappers get fucked up these days is people don't care about you rapping. They want to hear you, you know what I'm saying, rap about what you live and if you're living it for real. That's what they want to, that's what they want to hear, homie. They want to hear what you've showed and what you portray to the public and what you put out to the eye. What you gonna put out, man? I'm just saying. And that's why I'm trying to put it like even basketball to the music. Like Lush, yes, very knowledgeable. Understands the, the rap game. He understands all that. I listen to him. Like, you know what I'm saying? When he at times when he spoke on certain situations, hey man, it's all love, I get that. Very knowledgeable, very useful when it comes to that. <clears throat> but when it comes to actually trying to like, put some music out, bro, and make that shit sound good, my nigga, like, and be able to consistently do something like that, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it, homie, you know? Especially when you sitting there talking about like, oh, you ain't brick, oh, well, he ain't really no rapper. My nigga, I was rapping for a long time, homie. But I did it as therapy. I ain't do it to really try to get, I mean, shit, the music did good, good then, shit. Just wasn't really pushing. I thought we were gonna have some fun. That was a light pop to the mouth. That wasn't even a full fucking left hook. I'm left-handed. We hit hard. So, I mean, shit, that was just a little piece, a little like, hey, don't get the notion to fuck with me. Straight up. Don't get the notion to fuck with me, dog. You say whatever the fuck you want to say in your little chair, homie. Don't give a fuck. Oh, sure, don't. Don't try me. No, because he tried to bash me about that one. He can say all my other tracks was good that he listened to. I mean, that shit don't matter. You got mad about this one. I was just telling what we all was thinking. I ain't gave that nigga nothing but respect, homie, and truth. Niggas ain't even wanna listen to my shit. Boy.
It was a fun track to make. I thought we was going to have fun with the shit, to be honest. I didn't think that uh, it was going to be any type of like, oh, now we're going too far. Going too far? Look at the shit you done did to me. We having fun with the shit. I didn't sit there and say, oh, well, we're going too far, even though you didn't say some whole way out shit the other day, boy. That shit was crazy, and we're going to dive into that. We could have left all this shit alone, dog. We didn't have to even go this far. All you have to do is just send a text and say, hey, Sharp, come to the Tuesday show. We're going to sit down and we're going to chop it up. You ain't got to send me no phone call, my nigga, no nothing. It's just respect, homie. I did business with you. I didn't do business with Remo. I didn't do business with anybody you try to send my way. Hell, you didn't even send Josh my way, my nigga. Like, I don't even want to hear that shit, bro. I didn't respect that shit. We could have had fun with the music. You kind of killed that the other day. You kind of took from us all having fun with the music, bro. That's crazy. I thought bringing that track would put some pep in everybody's fucking step. Yeah, I heard, I heard the, the sex trafficking allegations. I, I heard all that on me. That's cool. That's fine. I ain't. Come on. Yeah, I heard all that bullshit. Instead of just making this shit fun, bro, you had to go, you, no, hell no, don't give him no motion. Let him have no motion. And I ain't talk bad about your daughter neither, nigga. It was clever. I thought the bar was clever when I said shit. I ain't say nothing bad. I said, this is how your daughter screaming this her favorite song. Well, I say something bad. You could have said that about my son. I'd have been like, okay. My daughter, I'd have been like, okay. How we put kids in the mix of something bad? That wasn't bad. Nobody called her out of her name. Nobody said she, I never placed her in any type of fucked up, harmful situation. So cut the cap, bro. Cut the crying. And fucking respond if that's what you was going to do. Don't don't play baby back bitch to the situation, bro. And this is the type of shit that pisses me off. We could have had fun with it. Hell, I even posted the situation when you were sitting there passing my cup around. You had it in the video. Hell. I didn't sit there and take it on no funny shit or no weird shit. The nigga tagged me in the shit on my story. Hey, I reposted the shit here. Was never no hoe about it. Was never no hoe. That mean, I can understand then. Like, now nah, I'm just being a little bitch about it. All right, cool. I see the cup. All right, I got a problem with it. Nigga, let me do something about it. I'm going to respond. So I did just that.